So here we are at the conclusion of the Best Worst Date Contest. Firstly, thank you for being a part of this journey. Thank you for your votes. Thank you those of you who sent us your tapes and thank you everyone who's watching. This is important to me because so much of what we're trying to do today in finding love, it's that those initial moments when we've met somebody and we like them and we feel a connection, but something, something goes wrong, something goes sideways. Through no fault of our own, we get off our game or maybe there's a misunderstanding. And then you have this lack of resolution and you don't move forward. In this case, you had nine months. We were blown away by that. We kept talking about it. Nine months, this never got resolved. We thought it was like a month past, but nine months. So Troy couldn't move on. Crystal couldn't move on. How many of you have been in a situation where you're stalemated because there's no forward movement? So it's been our hope that we could help to alleviate that, help you get unstuck, move you forward, give you the tools and the equipment to go back in and to be the better version of yourself, to maybe understand what wasn't understood, to be clear where you were non-communicative, and to show up in a way where you truly do shine so that that person can see who you are and how wonderful you are, just so that you feel resolve, like you really were there and they got a sense of who you were. So this has been the journey for the best worst date. You had a best date that was a worst date that we truly hope is your best date again. Thank you so much for joining us.